it's changing out there and well we'll just have to see what of course happens on October 14 as to whether the investors come back into the market because uh, uh, they most definitely are not very much of a driving force at all at the moment. Hello again everybody and welcome to another quick video looking at what's happening in the world of economics or more principally interest rates and uh, the housing market. Now if you've been looking at this video for a while now you'll realise I've been putting across a reasonably strong view or at least a, a message to young buyers that you've been presented with a window of opportunity to get into the housing market uh, with prices down on average now about 17% from their uh, peak late in uh, 2021. Uh, not many other buyers are around the investors certainly not uh, in the market recently the banks have been easing up on uh, credit availability looks like interest rates may hopefully uh, have peaked as well I've been given that relatively strong uh, message and I'm starting to see signs that others maybe are starting to say the uh, same thing and certainly the tone and commentary in the media is now uh, turning around we have a group of forecasters out there now saying that rather than average house prices next year across New Zealand only rising maybe be 2% they think maybe the increase is going to be 8% well I've been sitting there at 10% uh, prediction for next year for uh, some time now and having been in this business for a while um, this, this is what's going to happen uh, at some stage next year once the ball gets rolling because I think for this year it's still going to be a little bit tentative but next year when you put in uh, strong population growth from migration uh, the falling rate of growth in new house supply there uh, uh, interest rates are coming down a bit uh, and listings going down you're going to have greater strength for 2024 in prices than what we're going to see for the remainder uh, of this year but what's going to happen next year is once the ball gets rolling then the forecasts are going to get lifted even higher so if I had to right now forecast what my or how my forecast would change I'd say there's a very good chance at some point next year I'm going to say I think the fundamentals and where they're heading now uh, justify a prediction that uh, house prices go up 15% over 2024. Now where we sit at the moment, no, I'm not thinking that. There's still a great number of people out there who simply can't make um, a purchase. But that's where the interest rate situation gets very important. We've got good uh, job security, good wages growth for a lot of people. And there's got to be literally thousands if not you know, tens of thousands of people who would like to buy a property at the moment, but they can't because they cannot meet bank debt servicing uh, requirements uh, with interest rates, stress testing interest rates at around about 9%. Now once interest rates start falling more of these people are going to be able to enter the market. How rapidly will interest rates fall over 2024? Frankly that is anybody's guess uh, at the moment and by the time you get to see this video there's a good chance the Reserve Bank will have already confirmed in its you know, monetary policy review uh, that the rate is staying at 5.5%. They don't think they're going to have to increase it any further and they don't imagine cutting it uh, for the first time until uh, late next year year but we do need to be aware that the Chinese economy is slowing down quite a bit and they take about one third of what we export overseas the dairy payout has just been cut and that means spending by dairy farmers at least is going to be pretty constrained in the next 18 months there's also weakness in prices for many other primary producers we can see a little bit of an easing up in the uh, uh, um, labor market out, out there so you can run a scenario where interest rates maybe do have a decent decline maybe in the latter part of 20 2024 and of course that will bring a lot more people uh, into the housing market so I'm prepared to say the sort of media awareness is now out there um, I'm getting interviews of a request of a different nature now talking about well why are prices actually going up and why will they keep going up next year as opposed to do you think they're going to bottom out fairly soon it's changing out there and well we'll just have to see what of course happens on October 14 as to whether the investors come back into the market because uh, uh, they most definitely are not very much of a driving force at all at the moment and then if we do get a change in government and therefore the tax rules uh, change I don't think we can have really any greatly solid view on how many investors will move back into the market and what the speed will be it's sort of like you know uh, once burnt there are uh, twice shy so we'll just have to see what happens in that regard but overall no change really in the interest rates uh, outlook for the moment and the housing market I guess it's chugging along and, and improving as I generally expected the only real change is more people seem to be recognizing that now all the best